Ever pondered on the future of Hedera Hashgraph's HBAR? Today we'll delve into this fascinating topic. Welcome to the world of Hedera Hashgraph's HBAR, a digital currency that's making waves in the realm of network operations. What sets HBAR apart? Well, it's not just another cryptocurrency, it's a unique blend of fast transactions, low costs, and the potential to earn up to 6.5% APY by staking HBAR. With a total circulation capped at 50 billion units, HBAR is designed with a long-term vision in mind. It's a digital currency that's built for the future, designed to seamlessly integrate with the burgeoning digital economy and provide a robust platform for network operations. But recently, HBAR has been on a downward trend. What does this mean for its future? HBAR has been facing resistance, forming lower lows. Let's see what this indicates. In the world of digital currency, Hedera Hashgraph's HBAR has been experiencing some turbulence. Currently, HBAR is on a downward trend, a path often associated with uncertainty and potential risk. But remember, in the crypto world, volatility is the name of the game. So, what does this recent downtrend mean? For HBAR, it's been facing resistance, which essentially means that the crypto's upward momentum is being challenged. It's akin to running into a strong headwind, slowing down the pace of your run. This resistance has resulted in the formation of lower lows, a pattern where each new low in a given period is lower than the previous one. In terms of HBAR's price, it means that each new low price is lower than the last, indicating a bearish trend. Now let's talk numbers. HBAR is trading below its key moving averages, which are often used as a gauge of price direction. In simple terms, a moving average is a tool that helps smooth out price data by creating a constantly updated average price. The fact that HBAR is currently trading below these averages suggests that its price is lower than its usual range, which could be a cause for concern. But it's not all doom and gloom. Remember, these are just indicators. They're like weather forecasts. They give us a sense of what might come, but they're not set in stone. The crypto market is highly volatile and can change direction quickly, so while HBAR is facing resistance and forming lower lows now, it doesn't mean it will continue to do so indefinitely. The technical indicators, MACADD and RSI, are also giving us some bearish signals, but what exactly are these indicators telling us? MACD and RSI are more than just acronyms in the crypto world, they hold valuable insights into market trends. Let's delve into the MACED first, the Moving Average Convergence Divergence. It's a trend-following momentum indicator that shows the relationship between two moving averages of a token's price. The MACED triggers technical signals when it crosses above to buy or below to sell its signal line. The speed of crossovers is also taken as a signal of a market is overbought or oversold. Now, in the case of HBAR, we're seeing bearish signals from the MACD, indicating that the market may be oversold and a downward trend is in play. Now, let's move on to the RSI, the Relative Strength Index. This is a momentum indicator that measures the speed and change of price movements. RSI oscillates between 0 and 100 and is typically used to identify overbought or oversold conditions in a market. When the RSI is above 70, the market is considered overbought, and when it's below 30, the market is considered oversold. Similar to the MACD, the RSI of HBAR is also giving us bearish signals. But what exactly does this mean? Well, both the MACD and RSI are indicating that HBAR is currently in a bearish or downward trend. This doesn't necessarily mean it's time to panic. Instead, it's a signal for investors to be cautious and watch the market closely. You see, Technical indicators like these are tools to help investors predict possible market movements, but they're not crystal balls. They should be used in conjunction with other market analysis techniques and information. So, with these bearish signals, what are the support and resistance levels we should be watching? Support and resistance levels are critical in understanding where the price of a crypto might head next. When it comes to HBAR, Two key support levels are currently at $0.08791 and $0.09940. But what does this mean? Well, support levels in essence represent a price point where buying interest is strong enough to overcome selling pressure. This often leads to a pause or bounce in a downtrend. So these levels are essentially the floors that HBAR has been able to maintain. They are the points at which the price has dipped but managed to recover, showing that there's a substantial amount of interest in buying HBAR at these prices. 
They are the points at which the price has dipped but managed to recover, showing that there's a substantial amount of interest in buying HBAR at these prices. On the flip side, we have resistance levels. For HBAR, these are currently at $0.121 and $0.1345. Resistance levels are like the ceiling of a price, where selling pressure overcomes buying pressure. These are points where the price has risen to, but then declined, indicating that there is a substantial amount of selling interest uh, at these prices. How are these levels determined? They are identified by analyzing the chart and determining where the price has previously had difficulty crossing. They are not set in stone, but rather, they act as indicators of where significant buying and selling actions have occurred in the past. These support and resistance levels are significant in predicting price movements. If the price of HBAR can break through a resistance level, it can indicate that the sentiment is bullish and we might see further price increases. Conversely, if the price breaks below a support level, it could signal a bearish sentiment and potential further price decreases. So with these levels in mind, will HBAR price rebound? The future of HBAR hinges on various factors, including market trends and investor sentiment. We've delved into the depths of the current state of HBAR. Understanding key aspects such as MACD and RSI indicators, as well as the critical support and resistance levels. It's clear that HBAR has been on a downtrend, consistently forming lower lows. However, there's a glimmer of hope. The possibility of a rebound from oversold levels is on the horizon, but it's important to keep in mind that this potential turnaround isn't a given. It's crucial that we see signs of strength to confirm an upward trend. This could take the form of HBR trading above key moving averages or bullish signals from the MACD and RSI indicators. The future of HBR, like any other digital currency, is laden with uncertainty. It's a play of probabilities, not certainties. So tread carefully, keep an eye on the market trends, and most importantly, stay informed. Remember, this information is for informational purposes only and does not constitute financial advice. Always do your own research before making any investment decisions.